Welcome back to another hot episode with Dr. Ornella and I, Joy Katawazi, in the hot seat. Let me tell you the topic of now. I'm just going to hurry this up because I have too many questions about this. We're going to be talking about the spirit of jealousy. Get comfortable. All right. <laughs> How, why is it a spirit, first of all? Um, I, so here's the thing. I believe that there are things that start off as a thought mm -hmm. and then they become a behavior. Mm -hmm. And then they become, you know, just like habits. Yes. But then they become spirits. Mm. I believe that sometimes there are things that are spiritual. Uh, I think there is spiritual importation that we get sometimes from family. Mm. There are sometimes families yes. that are, that have jealousy yes. that is passed on from generation to generation. You know, and okay. people never believe that it is something that you need to cut ties with. Mm. Now, there are moments of jealousy and then there is spirit of jealousy. Those are two mm. different things. Okay. You, you can have a moment of jealousy mm -hmm. if you have a friend, yes. she was your best friend. Yes. And then someone comes in and say, hey, hey, hey yo, you, you two are getting too close. I mm. mean, that's my best friend, you see? So yes. there are moments of jealousy. Mm. That's human. That's normal. That's okay. healthy. Okay. Right? I'm trying to Thank you make for clarifying. Clarifying. Yeah. Yes. But then there is a spirit of jealousy. Mm -hmm. This is ingrained. This is important mm -hmm. someone. Everything they see, everything they do, before you even speak, they're mm -hmm. already jealous. They're jealous mm -hmm. of how you look. They're jealous yes. of your gift. They're jealous of your friends. See, there are, right? So that is more of, of who that person is mm -hmm. than the normal jealousy. Mm -hmm. you see? What is the difference between jealousy and envy? They're intertwined mm -hmm. in a way because envy mm -hmm. is, is, uh, is born out of insecurity. Mm. Jealousy is born out of insecurity. Mm -hmm. But the difference is envy is, can be something good. I can envy you and that envy can boost me to work harder, mm. to practice more, right? Jealousy is how can I destroy you? Mm. How can I create rumors about you that are not true? Or why you? Right? Yes, because jealousy turns into violence. Not physical violence, mm -hmm. mental violence. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to create rumors about you. I am going to come against you. Um, I'm Did going... you hear that? Mental violence. It's right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to uh, make fun of you. But here's the thing. I am going to minimize your moments of glory. Mm, 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 mm. Can we repeat it or not? You better repeat that. Jealousy is, mm. I am going to minimize yes. your moment of glory. Mm. So jealousy is really based on wow. how can I minimize wow. you? You can, wow. you, know, you know, if you post something nice, and everyone is liking it. How can I leave a passive aggressive sassy comment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if, if everyone is telling you congratulations, mm -hmm. how can I find something that is like, well, it wasn't that big. Uh, you see? Yes. So, jealousy is dangerous because jealousy, it does not only destroy you, but jealousy, it, you become a slave of jealousy because you stop living your life and you, st you start leaving, fighting people. So does the spirit of jealousy attack the people you don't even know? Because the way you're describing it, it feels like minimizing other people's glory is something we do uh, and uh, we just feel like we're just being judgmental mm -hmm. or we're just throwing co comments mm -hmm. or we're just being shady. But how do we identify the spirit of jealousy? You, you identify the spirit of jealousy when it is hard for you. I want to clarify, hard for you to be happy for others. Uh. When saying congratulations, you, you have to, eh? mm. it can't come out. Mm. Mm. Or, or, or when someone uh, start a business, mm. right? You're like, yeah. But it's hard. It's when you can't be happy for others. It's when you can't like for someone else. It's mm. when you can't share someone else's mm. moment. It's when you are in a room. I'm going to clarify that. It's when you are in a room mm. 
mm-hmm. and it's not about you mm-hmm. and you're having a hard you're having a hard time mm-hmm. being in moments where it's not about you mm-hmm. that's jealousy let me ask a very the very maybe this is going to be the last question because i feel like we're going to tackle it deeper there is there are moments that a friend or a, a, a maybe someone who's also an elder can be in a place of jealousy but it comes forth as advice where they come and they're like just because they're jealous they're giving you advice um, against that thing, against your success. Avance. Or avance. they're trying to tell you how you're doing it wrong, how you need them maybe. How do you identify that? How do you discern that? Because when you have been rejected in life, I feel like when you get advice, you feel like you're getting approval, you're getting counsel, mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. you, you embrace it. Mm-hmm. If, if they're discouraging you, you'll take it as rebuke, as mm-hmm. something healthy for you, you'll mm-hmm. just take it mm-hmm. and go the other route. Mm-hmm. So how do you discern that? All right, so, um, it's, so we have elders like that. We yes. have elders who have a hard time mm. seeing people like that. But what I always tell people is, Cause, cause I'm, cause I'm also a spiritual parent. So mm-hmm. I also have spiritual sons and daughters, but I also have people I mentor. Mm-hmm. And this is what I always tell them: if every advice I give you yeah. is about depending on me and not depending on God, there is a problem about me. There is a problem about my leadership. Sip, go 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 go. If every advice, yes. if everything I do yes. is not about elevating you, mm-hmm. but if I tell you that your elevation is dependent on me, mm-hmm. on my organization, on. on my ministry, mm-hmm. and not on God, and if I don't teach you to depend on the Holy Spirit, and Come I tell on. you to depend on my, call me, call me anytime, mm-hmm. call me whenever, um, you know? Like, or you can't even listen to anybody, anybody else. else. Uh, right. Like every, every other minister there mm-hmm. is, is questionable. Uh, right. Depending on me, you know, you know I am, I'm your father. You know I'm the elder, so I care about you. All those advice mm-hmm. are telling you, depend on me so I can control you. Jealousy is about control. If I create a rumor about you, I will control how people see you. If 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 I um, if I judge you, I'm controlling. So that's what it's really about. When when you are insecure about who you are, you try to control how others see others. Wow, <laughs> beloved, I hope you've been blessed by this. I'm gonna keep on asking questions around this because. This thing called the spirit of jealousy is real. You don't even know, you don't, you're not even aware when it comes. Because you talked about moments and then you talked about the spirit itself. When it develops into that. But moments, mm. they're there and they're many. And, and we have to deal with it. I hope this helped you and I hope you're going to use this in your life. Thank you for Can, can I ask this. something before I close? Yes, please. You yes, know, please. I, I, I don't want to go give over it, give it to listen us. um something i also want to add this on jealousy real quick mm-hmm. is i want to say that um there is a way you can heal from jealousy there is a way you can unlearn mm. the the habits and the practice of jealousy mm-hmm. because the more you're going to start learning about who you are the more you connect with god and you realize that god made you enough mm. you stop trying to shine like everybody else. Yeah. Because the spirit of jealousy is, you know, uh, why is it not me? But if you work on your relationship with God, this is where it always goes. If you work on your relationship with God, then you, re- you identify, I am enough. I was made enough. Yes. My gift is enough. Mm-hmm. My light is enough. Mm-hmm. You know, my relationship's enough. And then you start learning to celebrate others, that it is okay for all of us to shine. It doesn't have to be a fight. Wonderful.